Hi friends. In my previous video, I have demonstrated how to get rid of this annoying error screen, this blue screen of death error, by restoring the registry in Windows 8 and 8.1. But there were a lot of comments saying that they were not even able to get to the advanced option because the system is continuously getting restarted again and again and again. So in this video, first I will show you how to disable that continuous restart and then you can easily get to the advanced option. This can be achieved by enabling the feature Disable Automatic Restart on System Failure through Advanced Boot Menu. So there are multiple ways of doing that. If you are using Windows 7, then on start of the computer, pressing F8 can get you to this advanced boot menu option. But this may differ from system to system. You may have to use Fn key along with F8. In Windows 8, you need to use the same key along with Shift or Fn. Or you can use the installation CD or bootable USB. So, in this video, I am going to show you how to get to that advanced boot menu option using bootable USB. The process is same for the installation CD. First, go to the BIOS setting. In my system, I am able to go to the BIOS setting by using F2 key. It may be different in your case. You can easily find out which key is going to get you to the BIOS setting by simply paying attention while your system is started. It displays the option. Once you go to the BIOS settings, on the top of the screen, you will see five different tabs. Main, Advanced, Security, Boot and Exit. Again, it may differ from system to system having less or more options in different order. Now, the first thing you need to do in order to boot the system through USB is to change the boot order from BIOS. So once your control is over the main tab here, then simply press right key from your keyboard and move it to the fourth option, boot. Here you can see different boot devices in some order. In my case, I'm going to boot from USB. So the first boot device is set as removable devices. If you want to set first boot device as disk, then press the down arrow key to move the control over CD-ROM drive. Now, at the bottom of the screen, there are clear instructions how to move it to the first place. Here, it says change values by using plus or sign along with shift key. So if you want to move it to upward, press the plus sign with shift until it reaches to the top. I'm going to use the USB. So let me just set the first boot device as removable devices. Once. You set the boot device order as per your preference. Then, in order to save the changes, press F10 key from the keyboard. In some system, you may need to press Fn key along with F10. As soon as you save the changes, your system gets restarted and then it will find the boot device as per your preference. In my case, it will detect a bootable device and try to boot from it. Once you see the screen, click on next here. Instead of clicking on install now, choose the option repair your computer. Select the option troubleshoot. You will have multiple options under troubleshoot like refresh your PC, reset your PC and advanced option. Click on advanced options. Here we are trying to get out of that continuous restart loop. So from advanced option, click on startup settings. And this is the advanced boot option screen where you can find multiple options and the very last option is disable automatic restart on system failure. Here the screen says restart to change windows options such as one of these. So click on restart and you will get this screen. And now here you have the choice to select any of these options. We have to select the last option so it says press a number to choose from the options below. For that use number key or function keys from F1 to F9. Our needed option is listed at 9th number. So press F9 or 9 number from numpad. 
and your system will be released from the curse of getting continuous restart. Still, your issue of this error will not get resolved, but at least you will be able to follow the process shown in this video to get your issue resolved. I hope you like the video, keep sharing it, provide your valuable comments in the below comment box and do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you.